Boat clean today, y'all. My boat is literally never been this dirty since I've owned it. And it's 65 degrees here. All the, the uh, lakes around here are blown out. Went out yesterday, couldn't catch anything. It's like 39 degrees at Yatesville and rolling chocolate milk. So, before I put this thing up for, hopefully not for the rest of the winter, but as soon as I put it up, I wanna make sure it's clean. Um, my truck had an EGR cooler leak, which was blowing exhaust, or I'm sorry, it was blowing uh, antifreeze and coolant through my exhaust and I was you know it was unbeknownst to me and it went all over my boat let's see if I can show you places of it here if you guys can see that black stuff there or not yeah you can see it now but there's little specks of that stuff all over my boat and it's coolant it's everywhere can't really see it much in the Joko here, but it just feels rough to the touch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if, what it looks like over here. It's overcast, so you can't really tell how dirty it is. It's fairly clean. I like to keep my stuff fairly clean. But you can see all this stuff here. Um, it's dirty up underneath here. My trolling motor is really dirty, especially up in here. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break out my Better Boat products. I'm going to start with the hull cleaner, uh, and then I'm going to use some soap that I have. I'm actually out of the Better Boat soap right now, so I'm just going to use some random soap. Wash my boat down. And then I have a new product here that I'm pretty excited to try out. This is a wax sealant, which is compatible or comparable to a ceramic coating or ceramic technology. How you use this stuff is you uh, wash your boat, make it really, really clean, clean as you can get it, uh, and then while you're rinsing it off, get all the soap off from it. You spray this stuff with a spray bottle that, that comes included with this. Approximately eight inches from your boat, spray it all down until it's evenly coated. And then you take a water hose and just wash it off. And you wash it off until there's no white streaks or white bubbles left. And then you can uh, dry it as normal. Make sure you get all this off here before you actually, uh, you know, before you dry your boat, because if this stuff dries on there, it actually will dry white, which is not good. So again, we're gonna start with the hull cleaner. I'm gonna get that uh, coolant off of there. I'm then gonna wash the boat. And then after that, I'm gonna try this wax sealant out uh, and see how it goes. So you guys see it. <clears throat> I'll take some pictures here of the boat before and after. That way you guys can see it as well as the, the final product. But you know, you guys have seen it before and, and I like to take care of my stuff. I like to try to keep everything clean as possible. You saw the boat carpet cleaning video, which by the way is one of my most popular videos out on YouTube. So it's uh, it's way way more dirty than it was when I shot that video. So I'm gonna have to get that done eventually. But today I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna get the outside of it done. I'm gonna put my cover on it, put it back in my garage and be done with it until I fish again. This spring, I'm gonna get it out and detail it all out, get the uh, carpet and stuff ready to go for this fishing season. So without further ado, let's get after this thing again. Better boat, haul cleaner. First, I'm gonna spray it down, wash it off, you know, scrub it, and I'm gonna wash it with some soap, hit it with the wax sealant. So, see some before and after photos. How about a time lapse? All right guys, again, just washed the boat really well. Use the Better Boat Instant Hull Cleaner. I used a scrub brush on it. You don't have to with that product. I just do it just so I can speed up the process a little bit as far as for myself. You can just spray that stuff on there and wash it right off of the water hose. Works really well. But I had some stubborn stains on here again from uh, having uh, coolant leaked all over my, out of my truck, all over my boat. So again, directions here. Um, thoroughly clean the surface prior to treating. Do not apply on a hot surface. It's uh, 65 degrees here. Overcast. Looks like it's about to rain. It's not supposed to. I hope not. I hope it holds off. 
Wet and tire surface, whole bottle approximately eight inches from the surface and spray to mist with solution taking care to cover entire area. Immediately hose off excess. Again, make sure you get it all off before you dry it and um, you know, you'll be good to go. So let's see what happens. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it half a time so uh, it doesn't dry on me. I can already tell a huge difference, man. This stuff just causes this water just to sheet right off of here. And I'll show you guys an example here in just a second when I get this done. So there it is. I probably used way more than I should have, uh, but almost a whole bottle for my boat. So take that in consideration. This stuff's supposed to last one, uh, supposed to do it once every 90 days or so. So a couple bottles a year will last you for sure. Stuff is pretty crazy. Again, it's just spray it on there, then, sp and then spray it right back off. So check this out. I should have done it before and after, but this thing right here, you can see the. <laughs> it's just it's gone same with the motor the sheets right off of there So I'm going to uh, take a second here to make sure that I uh, get all this rinsed off really well. And then I'm going to take a leaf blower, blow most of the water off from it, and then I'm going to dry it down with a chamois on an absorber. But again, these things right here, better broke products guys, speak highly of these things. I have uh, the deck cleaner for my pleasure boat. Uh, this is the first time I've tried this, phenomenal product, I feel like that this is going to take you know, it's gonna add years to my life so I don't have to, because I don't have to go wipe my boat down as often. When I get out of the water, it should just sheet right off. This stuff lasts about 90 days, roughly, uh, is what the directions say here. Uh, make sure that I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, may last up to 90 days. This is for best results, reply, uh, apply after each, each watch, wash. Again, guys, I probably overkilled this. Um, first time I used it, I got a 21 foot boat here. I wanted to make sure to get it all covered. I need to get a hold of Jonathan with the company. I'm, I'm sure you can spray this on your uh, trailer and everything. I didn't. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that I, I cleared that. I'll make sure that I post that in the in the comments below. I'm sure it's okay. I just want you to make sure that uh, we're taking better care of our stuff. And Better Boat is uh, some, some good stuff, guys. I posted a video there a couple months ago about me cleaning my pleasure boat with the deck cleaner and instant haul cleaner. Uh, it was fairly clean anyway. You couldn't see much about it. But... Um, Again, first time I've used this wax sealant, which is a ceramic coating of sorts. You know, it, it does what it's advertised to do. Uh, if you guys want to get your hands on this stuff, uh, go to thebetterboat.com or I'm going to drop some links down below this video for Amazon links. You go out there and pick it up. Their um, store actually ships through Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. So you're buying directly off them, uh, but through Amazon. So go out and check it out. Wax sealant, this stuff is going to save you a lot of time. Uh, on and off the water, make your rig look sweet.